As I said earlier, it's very important that you do not incorporate unnecessary low and mid-range frequencies in your reverbs, especially if you're going to be stacking several stereo reverbs. So you can see I have this low cut filter all the way up here to 550 hertz. Okay, I don't want to incorporate anything down here below that point because uh, it's just going to muddy up my mix and it's going to lose clarity for the other instruments. I also want this to be a darker track. Okay, I want it to really sit in the background of the mix. Therefore, I'm going to cut some highs from this reverb as well. So I've cut down here uh, to about 5000 hertz. You also have some band passes available, okay, so you can boost or cut in that way as well. Let's listen to how changing some of these can affect our reverb. You can also see up here next to the envelopes uh, that you actually can see your room selection here. Now this is a section where you can actually load in your own IR files. Maybe you've purchased some to use or you've even recorded your own. If you load in your IR file using this menu here uh, instead of this top one, you can actually load it in without changing the other parameters that you've already set except for some that are kind of dependent on the actual length of the file. Or if you want to load one in and then initialize everything, you can choose the second option. Finally, you can actually show in your finder where this particular IR file, Clean Room, is currently. All right, when you have this plugin in stereo mode, you can take a look at this input slider here. This input slider determines how your signal is going to be processed through this plugin. All right, at the top here we have stereo processing, which means that both channels are going to be processed uh, the same way. Your left side is going to output through the left side of the reverb, and your right side of the dry signal is going to be processed through the right side uh, of the reverb. All right, so now I've slid it down here to mono processing, meaning the left and right side of your stereo signal is now feeding into a mono processing uh, reverb. All right, and if you bring it down here all the way to the bottom, this is an X stereo signal, meaning that we've crossed uh, from our left side getting processed on the left side uh, output and our right side getting processed on the right side output, uh, they're going to flip. Okay, so our right dry signal is now going to exit the processor on the left and our left dry signal is going to exit the processor on the right. You can even blend these as you slide between them uh, you can blend the different formats. Let's take a listen. <laughs> 